Okay, so tonight I just want to go over what I basically do on my DMO to make life a little bit easier for you guys. Um, it doesn't take me long, so it would take me about 30 minutes. And I had this conversation with Megan today around getting distracted. So one of the things that I do is, you know, I always got messages coming in all the time. So what you're going to do is just ignore those messages. So when you're doing your DMO, you're only focused on your DMO and just let those messages come in because then after you finish your DMO, you can get to the messages. So I'm just going to share my screen. First thing I do is, first thing I do in the morning is I go to create my story. So I've already created my story for the day. So this is pretty much my story. And what I do with my story is I actually put up different themes each day. So I don't have the same thing up all the time. So today I've really focused on our Mother's Day event, our ebook. We've also got a Mother's Day event coming up on the weekend. So this was my story. And all I do, honestly, this was just a little screen recording and just took a photo of one of the recipes in the ebook, popped a poll up, and then just got a nice pic from Pinterest saying, wishing everyone a happy Mother's Day. So remember, we want to also make this an add value as well as, you know, a sales pitch. So what you want to do with your story is just have a little theme. So this is it. I started with want to do something special for your mum this weekend, your kids. Your kids may want, may want to tell you how how much they love you too. Um, and then just about the event tonight, getting the free ebook, what's in the ebook, and wish you a happy Mother's Day from all of our tribe. So that's pretty much the first thing I do. The next thing that I do is I put up a post. So my story will take me five minutes. I put up a post. Now that usually, let's go to my page. Actually do. So normally I put up at least one post. Sometimes I put up two, like I usually put up one this time of night. Um, so today I put up about our event. So I popped up a little post about our event and invited people along to join us. I also mentioned that they get a free ebook or get into the draw to win. Okay, so that's the second thing I do. Now that should only take you about full on for those two things, seven minutes to do, right? Now, the next thing that I do is I do my story comments. So go to your main page and go through your stories. Now, what I do is I don't comment, obviously, on any of any team's stories. So I really am quite focused on who I'm commenting on. So I usually commenting on people who I really like, who I've spoken to about the program or the business and who are really interested or people who I really resonate with and I'd love to work with. So for example, Nikki Connors is one of these women. Now, all I do is I love on her post. Now, if I feel genuine enough to want to comment on this, I will, but right now I don't feel that I want to comment on this. I just go straight through Sam's, hang on, it's a bit harder on the laptop. I usually do this on my phone, so I'm a little bit kick-handed. Right, we'll go to Katie. So Katie, she was meant to be here tonight. And then what I do is I go through and comment on things. Hope you guys can't hear that, it's really loud. Hang on. It's better. And then what I do is I comment, I love, and then I comment on it. So if I really love it, I'll comment on it. Um, and then, because what that's doing is it's going straight into her message box. So it's not only is it helping your algorithms, but it's also an opportunity to actually start a conversation with her. And often what I do here is go through her whole story because Katie's always got heaps of stories up. 
She's a bit of a fitness freak. So she loves pictures of herself doing her fitness, which is really cool. But she's often got pictures up of her. There she is riding a bike. She's often got pics up of her and her son. Um, same story. Honestly, and it's stuff like this I ignore. <laughs> no pictures of her son, her son this time. Okay, so then what I do is I go back, find one I want to comment on. God, I hate using my laptop for this. Sorry, guys. So annoying. So then what I would do is I would just comment, I would say something about, yeah, totally get this, resonate with this 100% or something like that. Okay. So what I do is I go through and I will love or comment on five, at least five people's posts. Oh, I'm sorry, this is doing my head in. I can't use this on this on the laptop, but you guys get my point, right? Next thing I do is I go into my Teensy. Now, for anybody who has who doesn't use Teensy, you might use Penny or you might actually use just like a grid or a book. Whatever you use, this is when you pull out or when I would pull out my grid, my book, pull out my, my Penny or my Teensy. As you can see, I've already done a whole lot of work this morning because I've done all my DMO this morning, but I just want to show you guys what I've been doing. I've left some of my follow-ups so I could go through those with you because some of these follow-ups are also going to be my invites. So up here, I've got shares. I've already sent out 10 invitations today um, and I've connected with 19 prospects and added two new people to my list, to my um, friend list. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I go into here are all my follow-ups. So we're doing follow-ups. So I click on Sarah. Now, Sarah is somebody who we have been trying to have a, why is that not coming up? Oh, don't tell me it's not going to work. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to refresh. Again. Come on. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I can't show you on my phone either. Okay, so I'll just fill out these bits later. So basically I'll work through all of these. So with Sarah, Sarah is somebody that um, we have connected online, never actually met her. She's in nutrition as well. She's got her own small business. She's really keen to collaborate with me and work together. And we were both have, have had a few opportunities where we were going to have a little call together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to pull up Sarah because she's come up as a follow-up. So I'm going to go in pull up Sarah's name in my message box and I'm just going to say hey honey just thinking about you oh, so not used to using my laptop for this about you and our, our catch up call. We haven't managed to get to yet. Lol. Um, let's, and then I would just say, are you? 
free some time on Friday. Okay, so then normally what I would do is I would just copy and paste that and I'd go straight through to Team Z and I would pop it in her thing and that would be a follow-up gone, but I'll do that later. Now, Laura Blake, so Laura Blake, and I think she's, has she got, no, that's her name now. Laura is somebody who lives in Kapiti and she is constantly wanting to come to our events, but she's got a lot of anxiety and she's never turned up yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to her profile and I'm going to invite her to a cup of event that we've got coming next weekend since she's come up as a follow-up. Now, I this is something I do all the time. I copy and paste things and then I kind of um, tweak it to fit the right, to fit the person. So I'm just going to go through because I sent a message similar to this to somebody today. And it was an invite to our cup of tea one. No, it's not that one. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Sylvia. So then what I would do is I would copy and I would find Laura. Laura Blake. So see, at the same time as I'm doing my follow-ups, I'm also doing my invites, okay? So this is what's really cool about this is I can do my invites and my follow-ups at the same time, which is super exciting. I can also do my new conversations at the same time as my invites. Okay, so then I'm pasting, then I'm changing the name. Now her name's actually Maria. She just had to change her name because of her ex who was, Mira will know or understand all about this one. Okay, and then, so all I'm doing is I'm going to send that as soon as the silly thing drops down. Cool, there's another one sent. And then I'll go through it and finish that there. Okay, so that's pretty much, you get the gist. It usually takes me way less time than this because I'm not doing it on my silly laptop. But what I'm doing, like Lisa Lecky, she's just someone I would probably just comment and love on her, her post because she's someone that we're meant to be having dinner with and there's always something that's come up. So what I do is I just kind of send out a little reminder and comment and love on my post and every time she sends me a message, oh, I'm really sorry, I'll get on to the dinner. <laughs> So you're just kind of reminding her. So go on to there and do that. Georgia is another one who I would message and let her know that um, we have an event coming up and invite her to that. Jess is another one. Tracy is someone. So a lot of these people, they're just follow-ups just to stay connected. So either you send a message through to them to say, hey, how's life? How are you doing? Or you go to their page, you find something on their page. So let's go to Tracy. Tracy was someone who was really interested in the products quite a few times. She keeps coming back to me. And so I always find a reason to message her. And so the last time I messaged her, this time I'm going to comment and love on her post. So now what we've got to do here is we've got to look at the date. Okay, so her last, her last post was April the 26th. Now, we're 5th of May, so that's kind of stalkish material. So we don't want to be going commenting on this when it's more than four days out. So if it's within a four-day time frame, you're fine. You're not a stalker. But if you're outside of that, you're pretty much a stalker. So you've, I wouldn't comment or love on this one. But what I would do is I would either send her a little message and just say, hey, Hannah, I'm just thinking about you. I hope everything's well and you had a beautiful day. 
um, or I would go back to Team Z and I would just make the follow-up another week. I would extend it for another week so that hopefully next time she will have a more up-to-date profile. Now, most of these people here will be invite. Now, this here, Susan Marie, she was someone I invited the other day and she hasn't even seen the message. So what I would do with her is I would do the same as what I did just try to do with Tracy and I would go and love and comment on her post just so that it reminds her to, that she's got a message sitting there. I'd also do the same for Andrea because she's another one that I messaged. Okay, once I've done those, I go to my new ads. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to my notifications because I went through this morning and I added a few new people to my to my friend list and one of them has accepted. So I'm just gonna go to my friends. Um, put that because there she is right there. There she is there, Tina Martino. Now, Tina, I was drawn to her because of the cats, hello. <laughs> Sorry, self-confessed cat, crazy cat lady right here. And her face, her photo, she looks beautiful and open. And I thought, I really like this woman. I want to connect with her. Um, also, she's a life coach. So I thought, oh, you know, I love, I love connecting with life coaches. So this was me. So what then I would do is I would send her a message. And I would say something like, Hi, Tina. So lovely to connect with you. I see you are a life coach and you also love cats. I am the craziest cat lady. And then I would usually do a laughy face. Can I do that here? I can choose an emoji on my laptop. Great. Do a, do a laughy face. And just before you send it, um, use. Yes, use yes, I've got coach wrong. That. Yeah, I've got coach <laughs> wrong. And I, I do usually do my spell checks. You can right click and usually you could you could get a um like a, a suggestion yeah yeah and then what i do is i add her into teamsy and i also pop her um message up okay so that is a reach out to a new that is a new reach out okay so when we think about reach outs that what that's what we're doing also when we are commenting on stories that is also a reach out now, another way, that, another way that I do this is I go to birthdays. So let's see if I can find my birthdays. I deliberately didn't do those today because I wanted to wait and do those with you lovely ladies. Um, I've just got to find them. I've got my notifications. You guys will stop talking to me. Here we are. Okay, so the first um, framework, uh, the first um, birthday that I've got that's popped up there is Barbara Turvey, and she's someone who's been interested in the business for a while. So this is a great opportunity to say, hey, I hope you're having a beautiful day, or I hope you've had a beautiful day. And then kind of, because most people, when you just send them something, now you want to go to message, not right on the timeline, so pull up her name and go to message. I've been talking to her on my business page. That's why there's no messages there. So um, this is a great opportunity because most people will come back to you and say, well, thank you so much. I've had a lovely day or whatever. And then you can say, that's so good. What did you do? What, was there anything special that you did today or something? And just kind of keep that conversation going. 
So hi, Barbara. God. Uh, Sarah, hang on. Tongue twister. Happy. Oh. I hope you had a beautiful first day today. What a gorgeous day you had for it. Okay, and then I would probably put some love hearts and maybe a little birthday cake or something in there. Thank you. Birthday cake. Come on. Okay, I'll just put about four birthday cakes up. Thanks, Facebook. And then when I know them, I've already spoken to them, I'll just put a kiss on there as well and send that away. So there's another reach out. Now I've got four birthdays there. That's five reach outs for the day, right? And so often birthdays come up because you actually, you don't, you're not talking to these people every day. So these are really good opportunities to start new conversations. And the other thing is you can go through your follow-ups and you can use those. Yes, they're not new reach outs, but they're still conversation starters when you're following up. You can also use your stories when you're commenting on your stories. Now, often the other thing that we do is, the other thing that I do is I go through my news feed and I will, um, am I in my news feed or am I in team love? Okay, I'm in my news feed. And then I will come, anyone that I come across that I really want to connect with or I really like, okay, Larissa, perfect. Thank you, Larissa. This beautiful woman came to me through um, my business page a wee while ago. She lives in France. She's super keen on the business. We've just had a conversation today, which is funny that she's popped up. Really keen on the business, but just moving countries. And I'm still waiting to hear her reply on move it, which country she's moved to. So what I would do here is I would comment on her post. Now, if I didn't already have a conversation with her, I'd probably also go through to her and message and I would say, wow, are you on holiday? You look amazing. Looks like you're really having a great time. Whereabouts are you? Or something like that. If she hasn't popped it up here, then you can make any conversation out of a post that you really like. So I'm just going to put here. Looking lovely, Larissa. Um, one is always do that. Such a beautiful spot. And then I would just do a little love heart, like I do. Okay. And then enter. Okay. Come on. Thank you. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is pretty much my what I do in my DMO. And that's done. That is done for the day. And that's taken, what, half an hour? Not even that. I mean, obviously, I didn't do all my follow-ups, but you can see how fast that is. And then now you can go back to... Hi, Sarah. Hi, Kat. You can go back to following up all your messages, you know, on the messages that have come through and any other work that you, you know, want to do, whether it be creative stuff. But basically, your DMO is done in 30 minutes. Just like that. It's those extended conversations that you keep having that takes the longer time. So if you allow 
the, yourself to be distracted by going, you know, as soon as those messages pop up. And believe me, I, I'm really guilty of going, oh, oh, Sarah's just popped up. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll see what she's got to say and I'll reply to her. Or um, I get just this massive backlog of them and I won't look at them for a long time. And then I'm going to set aside, okay, I'm going to set aside 20 minutes. I'm going to go through all my messages. So that's why sometimes, guys, it takes me a bit to get back to you. Um, but it's really good to make sure that you're kind of prioritizing your time to doing your DMO first and then following up with your other messages. Because otherwise it can just overwhelm you too much and you get to the end of the day and you're like, God, I haven't even done my follow-ups today. You know? And it doesn't have to be a massive job. It can be really simple and really quick. Okay, so have you got any questions on any of that? Yeah, so uh, for example, maybe the birthdays or any, any of your um, contacts in your CRM, if they're, if they don't come under your um the avatar that you've chosen should you just sort of maybe not talk to them or because because the thing is I guess um I guess for me for example uh I'm looking for women um either planning trying to plan to get pregnant pregnant or, or mums is what I'm looking for team, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm ruling out men as customers. So does it matter? Does it matter so, who you talk to? Yeah, does it matter who you talk to or, yeah. The thing is with birthdays, I always say happy birthday to everyone, unless it's a team member who's, you know, like a sideline buddy. I'll always say him happy birthday to you guys. But, or to my uplines, but if it's someone who's my sideline buddy and I'm not that close to, I won't bother. But everyone else, I will say happy birthday to. Even if it's somebody that I've never met, that it's a guy that's, I don't know, they never talk to me, then that's okay because you don't know at what point that might actually light up their life. They might not have anyone else say happy birthday to them. They might have no one else in their life that actually cares about them or they might be having a really crappy day. So it's not necessarily about how can I, you know, create my, or generate my, my avatar and find customers, but it can also be just that you really want to, um, you really want to just care for that person and keep in touch. But again, in the long term, it may be a customer, you never know what's going to yeah. come out of that and a birthday message honestly it takes like two seconds to send a birthday message because yeah. then what I do is I copy and paste them and just change the name unless it's a guy because I don't send love hearts and kisses to guys obviously but or unless it's someone I don't know as so well as someone where it's one of my closest friends but often if it's one of my closest friends I'll do a little video message and say hey I love you hope you're having a special day but I will always send a birthday message of some kind. I know mm -hmm. that Tammy sometimes puts them on, her on their timelines, do you, honey? You do birthday messages on people's timelines? No? I, I, I make sure that I um, private message them because it's a better yeah. connection than posting on their timeline. I, I agree. Thought, so it's... I was, and that way I get a conversation out of them and I don't yeah. just get in the, in the avalanche of um, happy birthdays on their timelines. Often they miss a lot of that. Yeah. But whenever I send a private happy birthday, um, I get a, a really lovely response just about every time and it starts the conversation. It's um, always more personal too. They feel more special when you send them a personal message. And especially I, if I you send them a, much a happy, conversation with them. Happy birthday meme. I always send them a pretty card that moves and sparkles and stuff. Okay. Something, yeah. I don't do those. Yeah. I normally will do like a little video where I'll say happy birthday. If it's someone oh. that I really love, if it's someone I really love or close to, I'll say happy birthday, I love you, thinking about you. Um, That's yeah. a great idea. I might do that, sorry, in future. And steal your idea. Yeah. Yeah. Or send a little a little gif where I'm going, mm, smooches, or something like that, you know? Because I think sometimes those little sparkly things kind of remind me of being a little bit too spammy, you know? I used to have people kind of just sending me those things randomly all the time. And I'm like, they're not even. There's only about you know? three that I like. 
There's yeah. only about three that I like and they're really pretty and they're quite like they're okay, yeah. but I wouldn't bother with most of them. But there's just three that I really like. Yeah. They, they're actually quite, you know, um, not so much sparkly, but pretty. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, yeah. And I do think about with who I'm sending them to, yes. what they, yeah. you know. And I think when But sometimes I make my own. So sometimes I'll just get a really beautiful background um, and I'll just write on it and make my own little kind of card for them. Yeah. Yeah. And I like think just, too, just, if you're writing a personal message, that's the really important bit, right? That's yeah. the best bit. And then the, the, you know, the gift or whatever goes with it, which makes it even nicer. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally. I always say to them, I hope you're having the best birthday ever and you're going to have the best ever year to come, you know, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Know, my messages change every day. I never have the same messages. I pop up different ones. I'm just in the moment with them. So just go with, you don't have to have like a template for a happy birthday message. Because then again, if you're going to say happy birthday to them every year, you're going to have these same messages all the time, which is not personal, right? <laughs> oh, I always use it to check back what I've said to them. Yeah. And the other thing that I got off Fraser Books was I always use it to cull. So if someone pops up for a birthday and I don't know who they are and we've never had a message with each other or anything, then I have a look on their profile and decide if I even need them. Because a lot of them are like, 60 year old men who think I might be into car racing or something you know like but they're never going to look at my shit <laughs> it's like it's like you know I have some of these young travel girls who obviously yes I love travel but I'm not young and then I friended way back because they sent me a request so I said yes and I look, look at all the messages and they're basically all me saying happy birthday every year <laughs> and they're saying saying nothing back so I'm like okay see you later <laughs> yeah use it as an opportunity and because yeah. um the other thing Fraser Brooks was saying was he doesn't need 5,000 people he'd like to keep it down by keeping on culling out the ones he doesn't need so that the good ones can come in yeah you know yeah so the other thing too that I just want to talk about with posting so if you're going to do one post every day I would do an ad value and then a program post or a business post an ad value then a program business post on you know those alternate days or you could do you could do um, two posts a day one ad value one program product or business post related right so that you've got two for each day one at the beginning one at the end of the day up to you but I you know I'm not an advocate for spending hours making up a post honestly if you just do one post one story a day and then just focus on your reach outs and your connections through um through Facebook through messenger that's the best way to do it guys because that's where the money is that's where you can have those real conversation opportunities So any other questions? I love it, Isha. She's still working, but she's on our training. <laughs> That's committed. Look at that. It's commitment. Have a private group, just me, where I can set up and prepare posts when they come to me. That's a good idea, Sarah. That's a great idea. So I remember Sin doing that for a while, Tammy. Um, but I did, it didn't last very long, but she did use it for a while where she created a post and then she would just schedule them to come out. But I don't know if you can schedule on your own page anymore. You can only do it in groups now. So any other questions, guys? I don't want to keep you forever. It's been half an hour, so... Awesome. So did you get all that kind of basic stuff written down? Because I think something that's really important um, to really take note of, and that I know we, we talked about that too today, Megan, and that is scheduling your time. So making sure that you know that you have a time every day where you're going to have your JP time, and that's all you're doing. And whether it's 30 minutes or whether it's 60 minutes, that's for JP, and not allowing anything else to distract you. Um, and I know that Tammy, you do yours on power hour in the morning, don't you? Yeah, well, I think, uh, I mean, obviously, I don't know exactly how long it's going to take me to, to, to do all uh, like reach outs and follow ups. Um, 
I'll, I'll, I've set a time and I'll give it a go tomorrow, but then I might have to set a, a separate time for planning my posts. I'm not sure. Because for some reason, my thoughts, it takes longer for me to think of some of them, especially like the ones that are about the story ones, the ones that are about me and my yeah. health journey. So it takes me longer than than that. But otherwise, otherwise, some of them, I, you know, the, the quick ones that I get up with um, affirmations, that's that those are a lot easier. Because the other thing you can do is go back to your archives and use your past posts or you can save posts that you like and then go back to them and reuse them. Mm -hmm. Just save you some time. Because like, you know, I do that a lot where you go back and you send one two or three months later that you've already sent in the past because people don't remember. Mm. Mm. And it saves you a lot of time. Especially if you want to do, you know, your story share, your testimonial share. Mm -hmm. yeah that's a good idea Sarah really good idea okay ladies I'm going to love you and leave you then thanks for joining me tonight hope that's been helpful putting everything into thank you thanks Tanya you're welcome nice to have you tonight Isha while you're working <laughs> bye honey see ya